B Scientific Series 2 Red Sky on Mars. You must be kidding. Okay, so you see now there are a lot of Mars i m a g e floating around. The sky is red, sometimes pink, sometimes white. Okay, so are you sure the sky color on Mars is like that? Well, there is a very、uh, scientific foundation on sky color, and you cannot ignore that. Okay? You see, sun, sun's light is mostly white. Okay? The reason is if you look at the spectrum, the short wave to long wave, this is infrared. This is.、Um, Ultraviolet. Sun's light distributed here. So if you mix them all, it b e c o m e white. But sky on Earth is blue. Why? That means, okay, the sun, when you look at the sun, you are seeing all of them. But sky, there's nothing, right? If Nothing on the sky, it should be black. You're looking at the space. But we have an atmosphere that has oxygen. This guy gets the sun's light and s c a t t e r this side, blue side. Okay? So if you are looking at the sky, This is my eye. <laughs> okay? This scatters blue light by oxygen coming to eye. So there's nothing in the sky but atmosphere looks blue. And everything else it doesn't scatter that much. You may have a little bit red but less. So it's sky become blue. There is a good reason for that. So, Let's look at we have an atmosphere all the way up to 20 miles, or、oh, this is 10 miles and 20 miles. If you fly up there, atmosphere b e c o m e 99% less, means only 1%. Okay, the, you look at the Mars, Mars pressure. Is this is Earth, right? Mass is like less than 1%. So, mass sky color should be somewhere close to the sky when you go up here. So, how it l o o k like? Here you go. Sky color. Well, there's nothing really r e f l e c t sun's light, right? There's more, no atmosphere. So, sky doesn't have a color. It just goes straight into, the, into space. So, you're looking at the space. And if this is not too bright, then you start seeing star. Okay? So, actually, anybody can guess with the right scientific mind. If Mars atmosphere is less than 1% of Earth, when you take a picture of Mars, the sky should be like this black. So, if somebody s h o w you the Mars picture, look at the sky color. It is red, pink, white. That's Okay, there's no such a thing. s If you have a scientific mind, you can tell. Now, this is a solar radiation spectrum, right? And which one r e f l e c t The sunlight at the top atmosphere. The molecule scatters blue light. And 
red light and infrared is invisible, right? And the red light, the vapor, vapor is H2O in the air, moisture is going to reflect that. So what's happened is when the sunset or sunrise, the light goes through a very thick layer of atmosphere and all the blues colors are scattered already before it's reach you and only the one it doesn't get scattered by oxygen or nitrogen reach you which is red okay then you look at the sky the like particularly when you look at the sunset or sunrise over the ocean it's always red because there are plenty of vapor H2O and H2O scattered the red light okay so what happened is red lights red sky come from vapor and CO2 is too far off this already invisible CO2 reflect infrared but it is invisible you look at that even 0.6 most of most of them is CO2 or mass so even it's scattered it, the um, infrared light it doesn't matter because the human eye doesn't feel it okay so this is what you get on earth why it's become red red sky you have to know red sky is often you look at over the ocean sunset sunrise it's red over the ocean that's important because of vapor plenty of vapor around that scatters the the red light so that's what you see on earth not mars okay mars there's nothing this its sky is dark black so this is the illustration the o2 n2 this guy all scattered away and only one come to the visible range is red color penetrate deep and hit vapor so you see the lights uh, reflecting back from the vapor is what you see that's red color sunset sunrise over ocean okay you go to the mountain look at the sunset or sunrise it's not that red it's may become a real bit of red around the uh, um, cloud there is moisture so this is this is the science of the rainbow you have a rainbow the there is a water droplet in the air after rain the water droplet the sun's light is white but droplet act like a prism has a different reflection angle for the blue light and the red light and that's why you see rainbow red color on top and blue at the bottom it's just like a Newton's prism you give a sunlight then you see the spectrum okay water droplet act like a uh, prism so after rain if there is a water droplet floating in the air that's act like a prism and that's a result you see rainbow okay so there is something in the air it has to reflect 
Okay? And some say, yeah, Mars has a sandstorm. Wow, storm in almost a vacuum. This may be possible. But the sand doesn't refract light, it's block. So if there is a sandstorm, like sandstorm coming, you're standing here, it's dark here and totally shut off the sunlight because sand is not like a water droplet or vapor okay so it doesn't make sense to have a color on Mars if somebody has a good nice image wow this is Mars look at the landscape and you look at the color of the sky and if not black it's okay let's have a scientific mind let's be scientific if you like this uh, video please subscribe